The Bible contains multiple passages that discuss the end of the world, also known as the end times, or last days. These passages can be found in both the Old and New Testaments. In the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah contains several prophecies about the end times, including the coming of a Savior, the end of war and suffering, and the establishment of a kingdom of God on earth. The book of Daniel also contains prophecies about the end times, including the rise of a powerful world leader, known as the Antichrist, and the end of the current world system. In the New Testament, the book of Matthew contains the most detailed account of the end times, including the return of Jesus Christ, the judgment of the nations, and the establishment of the kingdom of God. The book of Revelation, also in the New Testament, contains apocalyptic imagery and symbols that describe the end of the current world order, and the establishment of a new heaven and a new earth, It's important to note that different Christian denominations interpret these passages in different ways. And there is much debate over the specifics of how and when the end times will unfold. It is not possible to predict the exact time or circumstances of the end of the world according to most religious beliefs, including Christianity. The Bible states that only God knows when the end will come and that people should not try to predict it, but always be prepared for it. Many religious scholars believe that the biblical passages about the end times should be understood symbolically rather than literally. They argue that the purpose of these passages is not to predict specific events, but to encourage people to live in a way that is pleasing to God and to be prepared for the end of their own lives. It's also worth noting that many people have tried to predict the end of the world throughout history. But none of these predictions have been proven to be accurate. Since nobody in this world cannot predict the exact date and time the world ends, it is very important that we should all be ready at all times.